everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. Yes, I am playing some more Arma 3, but the Resolute Alliance campaign will be coming back pretty soon. In the meantime, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be part of a Milsim group, which is really cool. Uh, now, if you don't know what Milsim means, it's short for Military Simulation. It's basically where you go ahead and you uh, try to simulate uh, military scenarios, uh, going ahead and taking part in military objectives. I mean, there's a lot of different groups, but Arma 3 has a pretty strong community of Milsim groups. Uh, you've got people who are veterans, and then you got people like me who are not, uh, all getting together and just taking part in military operations, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, I've been told by some people who had been part of Milsim units in the past that if you want to get good at Arma, you should join a Milsim unit, and it makes sense. Uh, Arma is designed for realism, or that's one of the focuses is as much as possible to add realism to the game. And so if you get in a group of people who understand real world strategy and what type of tactics you would use in military situations, of course that's going to go ahead and complement what you do. Now I was a little hesitant to be able to do this for a few reasons. One, I am married, I have two kids and a full time job. I don't have a lot of time, uh, but also, if I were to join a Milsim unit, it would be all strangers to me. Wouldn't know anybody, uh, and I was actually really shy in the group. Like, I did not talk that much at all, just because that's me. I mean, I'm kind of an introvert, but anyway, uh, there's a lot of different Milsim groups that are out there. Uh, you've got some that focus on armor. You've got some that focus on, you know, aircraft. Uh, you've got Marine Corps units, uh, you've got units from other countries, but I decided to join a group called the 183rd Air Assault uh, Milsim group. Now, Air Assault is pretty cool. I mean, it's something if you guys have watched the uh, Resolute Alliance campaign, the unit that I'm playing as is an Air Assault division. Uh, but basically what it means is that helicopters are very central to your operations. For the most part, that's what gets you around. They support you in a number of different ways. It, it adds a whole lot of, um, adds a lot of elements to what you're trying to do, or elements to what you're trying to do. Uh, and because it is an air assault group, that means that there's a lot of different roles which you could take part in. Uh, so infantry, of course, is always going to be there. That's what I'm going to be doing because it gives me the most opportunity to be able to meet people. I get to be in the thing of the action and. Uh, I think it'll be good for making videos too. But there's also, of course, helicopter pilots. You need people to crew the helicopters. There's fixed wing uh, units in this as well as some armor as well. Uh, so there's a lot of different things you could decide to go ahead and do. Now, when I joined the unit, and this is not uncommon for mill sim units, is there was training that I had to go through. Uh, basic combat training, uh, which it does a lot of things for the group, and it's actually a good thing that uh, groups like this do this. Uh, one, you know, there's a very social aspect, of course, to a Milsim unit, and of course, social aspects to military operations. You have to know who is who, what they do, um, and you got to be able to know the people who are around you. And so, yes, there is that aspect to it. Um, but a lot of it too is to get everybody who joins this group on the same page as far as how the game goes and what type of tactics are going to need to be used. Uh, this group, as like many others, uses a lot of mods in the game to be able to go ahead and um, make it you know, their type of uh, unit, be able to do the things that they want to do, uh, and also add an additional level of realism to the game. So, for example, there's a unit which is called ACE. Uh, one of the components of ACE is making first aid something that is a lot more uh, complicated or a lot more in-depth is actually the better way to put it uh, than what the game usually has first aid being, which is, hey, heal yourself. I am healed. Keep going. You know, in this, you have to go ahead and perform triage. You have to know, you know, where is the person hit? You have to find that out, and then you have to go through a process to even bandage somebody. Um, and things like this, it's a responsibility. Well, yes, there are medics, but I mean, like, it is the responsibility of everybody to kind of help out with first aid. And so, if you're somebody who is not like me and has had the game for years, but you just bought it and joined a Milsim group, you got to learn how to go ahead and perform first aid. And there's also a, another mod, which I had never used before, called Task Force Radio. Um which I had to learn as well. 
Uh, so the first part of trading was actually learning these different things, uh, knowing what keys to press and getting everybody on a base level of understanding on how to do certain things in the game. Um, after we had completed that, we went out to uh, a weapons range. We took vehicles out there and uh, we had vehicles that had tow missiles on them, uh, one that I think shot uh, 40 millimeter grenades, and then another one that had a machine gun on the top. And everybody got some time to be able to go into these and actually fire the weapons. One of the cool things about this training that I really enjoyed was it seemed a lot of the other recruits had questions. Um, very simple questions like, oh, hey, how do you aim down the sight on this particular weapon uh, versus when would you use this? Like very simple and some advanced questions and stuff like that, which really went to show that this training really is for everybody. Now, once we finished in our vehicle, we got out, we tried another vehicle of a different type of weapon, and then we did it one more time, just so we could make sure we got experience in every single uh, vehicle. Now, once we were finished here, though, we as the unit moved over to the rifle range. Now, of course, the rifle range and what happens there is going to be absolutely important. In an air assault group, as well as just about any other unit, what happens on the ground is really going to go ahead and define whether or not your operation was a success or a failure. So you want to have people who are really good at firing their weapons. Um, now what had been set up is there were four different targets at different ranges. Um, you would get 10 shots at each target and then your score, how many hits on the target would be counted up and you would then have that uh, logged by the unit and you could get an award. So 40 shots, I hit all 40 targets. I was really, really happy about that. Um, so going through that, uh, getting some time with uh, the weapon, which is different than what I usually play with, was helpful. Uh, once we had finished our time at the rifle range, though, we all got together. And uh, the captain of the unit, Captain Devin, uh, congratulated us all on finishing our basic combat training. And what was cool this particular time is we were given the opportunity to be able to do the advanced infantry training. Uh, once you've achieved ba or gone through basic combat training, you can break up. You know, if uh, you're going to go into a different group than infantry, you know, you can have training with them. So, of course, since I am, decided to go ahead and just go through it while I was there. Um, usually it's done on a different day, but since it was being offered and I was at the computer, why not go for it? So in the advanced infantry training, we took everything that we had learned from basic combat training and put it all together and added to it uh, using tactics that you know, real military uses as well. So we talked about some very basic things, such as how do you go ahead and call out a target? Use the three Ds, the distance, direction, and a description of it. So we all got together, we talked about that, uh, we talked about you know valleys hills stuff like that you don't want to of course walk on the top of a hill so your silhouette is being seen you don't want to crest the hill basically um, just a lot of different things you know stuff that I had known already but not everybody in the group did so again this was really good that you know it was discussed because little things like that is really going to go ahead and help out some other people and the thing that I enjoyed the most and what I learned from uh, too is we discussed some urban warfare type of situations and we also talked about how to go ahead and uh, go through breaching operations like if you have to you know smash down a door to a house and break your well not break your way in but uh, you know what type of tactics do you use like when you stack up at the beginning what types of things do you say you know these are the things that really set milsim units apart from just getting together with your friends you know these are the type of tactics that are important and so Going through that was phenomenal. Uh, learned a lot myself. I know a lot of the other re recruits did. And again, after that, we all got together and we were congratulated on completing that too. And we were parts of the infantry group after that, like officially. As you go through the 183rd, there are ranks that are given to you. You start off as a recruit, which is not necessarily a rank, but for the sake of discussion, we'll call it a rank. And then once you complete your training, you become uh, private so now I'm a PV2 in the group you know should be assigned a fire team and stuff like that at some point and have a chain of command and everything like that and it'll be really cool 
So I guess what I'm saying for all of this is if you guys are wanting to do something like this, feel free if you guys want to join me. Uh, the website for the group is 183rdairassault.net. So when I say 183rd, I mean 183rdairassault.net. So it would be cool. Uh, again, if you guys are like new to Arma and want to do something like this, or you guys watch my channel and you want to do something like this, I mean, you guys are more than welcome to. It'll be pretty cool. But uh, since I'll be doing some videos for this, hopefully, I wanted to make sure that you guys kind of saw what happens at the very beginning. Uh, if you guys are wanting to join too, you guys have an idea of what the training is like and stuff like that. But I'm really excited for this. Hopefully I won't be so shy in future operations and I'll actually talk more. I don't know. I'm just the kind of person like when people talk to me first, I'll like open up, but I'm just really bad at doing it first. But, and of course it won't all be music and stuff like this too. Um, since this is more explaining things, I didn't want to go ahead and have all the voices going at once because there's a lot of discussions that are going on at the same time, which is, is helpful. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of this to come later on, so make sure you guys subscribe if you have not already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. But you guys are phenomenal people. You really are. Thank you again for watching. As always, you guys, I hope you have a good one.